So one of the things that I've noticed with my Ender 3 is I was having some leaning prints. By leaning prints, I mean this. This is a temp tower. We've all done lots of these. But if I set this on the table, and this is a square um, file cabinet, you'll see that print is definitely leaning backwards, which means, or I'm sorry, it's, it's leaning forward, which means that when it printed, the bed wasn't right, namely the y-axis. Now, in Luke's guide, there is a or an x-axis rework section. There's z-axis, but I haven't seen anything about the y, so we're going to look at that today. And it's very simple. Grab a square. You should have one of these. Loosen these two bolts right here, and they're on both sides. Loosen these significantly. Um, and then do the same thing on the other side. So two here, two on the other side. Then put your square on top of the Y axis. Now there is a belt there. However, you should be able to kind of hold it in place. And now put a light source on the other side. So you can see I've got this just ratty old work light, but it works. Set the camera or if you're not recording just your eye on the other side and look at that light source and push down on this push down on your y-axis until you get that gap gone and what you want to do is get the closest side lined up this is hard to do on camera but you get that closest side Lined up, push down, okay, there's still more. Slide it over, push it down, push it down. You might have to put some muscle into this, but eventually you will get, yeah, it's just a square. You will get this Y-axis square. This is a manufacturing defect in the factory. They just put together this because these come pre-installed. This is just their, their quality control kind of sucking. Um, Amazing printers, but fix that.